Kent County detectives are looking for these five suspects involved in last week's shooting after a high school graduation ceremony. Two other suspects were formally charged this afternoon. Meanwhile, we're hearing from some of the people who were at the ceremony when the gunfire began. 13 on your side's Carla Byron joins us now live. And Carla, do court documents explain why the shooting happened? Unfortunately, no, Juliet. That is still a really big unanswered question in this case. Now, the uh, two suspects who were arraigned here today, according to court documents, were attending the graduation ceremony, had guns, and then fled in a white Mercedes. 18 year old Shakir Abdul Wahad and Jakai Hill of Grand Rapids are both charged with carrying a concealed weapon and carrying a concealed weapon in a weapon free zone. These are like really extremely serious charges. A probable cause document shows Hill drove his white Mercedes sedan and attended the graduation ceremony while having a gun. Abdul Wahad was riding in the Mercedes and same deal. He attended the ceremony while having a gun. Kent County deputies say a stolen white Hyundai sedan pulled into the parking lot and started firing. Those in the Mercedes returned fire and then fled the scene. Two innocent bystanders were struck and are recovering. A family was at the school attending a band and choir concert. It was very surreal. It felt like the things you hear on the news of other schools, other places. Um, you know, I know the kids, you could just see them starting to panic and wondering if something really scary that they had been hearing terrible things about was going to happen where we were. We learned during their arraignment, Abdul Wahad was on juvenile probation and both suspects are about to graduate virtual learning school. The sheriff's office is looking for at least six other suspects from the shooting. The community is being asked to upload any photos or videos to their evidence submission portal that can help identify them. And if convicted, the two suspects could face fines as well as up to five years in prison. They both pled not guilty this afternoon and their bond is $100,000, a cash assurity with Tether. Reporting live in Kent County, Carla Byron, 13 on your side.